Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide, and I am sitting with Paul Kamirian. Hey, what's, up, what's up? You are an actor, dancer, choreographer. Like you have had an insane career. And how old are you? I'm 27. 27. Okay, you look so young to me. Thank you. I'll Such take a little it. baby. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, we might. Longevity. Yeah, longevity. 100%. That vampire blood in you, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were first like very well known because you were on So You Think You Can Dance in 2003. 13, you placed top three. So is that really what kind of gave you a jump start to your career in Hollywood? Yeah, it's actually funny because um, prior to that, I had only been dancing for like, I've only trained for four years of dancing. And um, it kind of started off with just me, um, like I was in college during the time I was dancing as well. So it was like a simultaneous thing where I had to choose between dance and like my career path and all this stuff. And then whenever I did So You Think You Dance, it kind of gave me that, that like, it was a stepping stone for some exposure and, and just kind of started me in my career and got me to travel the world and work with amazing people. Yeah, and absolutely. And so you've choreographed some really cool stuff for some big celebrities, yeah. music videos, stuff like that. Can you tell me what your biggest accomplishment is as far as that realm of entertainment, as far as who you've worked with? Right. Yeah. Um, well, I was... Um, one of the coolest things that I think that uh, I, I was a part of was the the cre creative process for Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud music video, mm -hmm. which has like over 2.7 billion views on, on YouTube now, which is insane to think. Um, but yeah, we, we got to travel on tour with him for like two weeks, three weeks, and just uh, teach him how to dance. And, and we were on his tour bus, and it was just kind of like, uh, we were just hanging out and just teaching Ed Sheeran how to dance, and and it was a it was a cool process to be a part of because later on we we got to perform at the European Music Awards um, as his like backup dancers, which he's never had before. So it kind of went full circle in that in that sense, and and just being with him, he's such an amazing person, amazing human being, uh, changed my idea of how celebrities and like stars are because I always thought, oh, you know, they must be like diva or something, you know, but he was just he countered that completely. Oh, I love him. I'm a yeah, big fan. Yeah. I'm also a marshmallow. So do you know what a marshmallow is? <laughs> of course I do. Okay. So for those that don't know, marshmallows are Veronica Mars stands. We are obsessed. We helped bring it back when the movie came out. I mean, it was a totally fan funded thing. And so now you obviously are one of us, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, after I, after, first of all, I didn't know what the series was about to begin with. I just auditioned for it and then I I found out I I got it and I, it was it was funny because my audition uh, the executive producers told me after that they they it was one of those things that made me believe that if you're right for role you're just right for the role and mm -hmm. if you're not you're not because they told me that um, they just saw my initial audition and they didn't want to call me back they didn't want to do anything they just wanted me to be booked on it right away and so it was one of those things where I was like if you're meant for a role you're just meant for a role you know and it started with two episodes and became six episodes six out of eight so um, I, I didn't even know what the show was about and my manager was like this is a big deal like you should and I was like oh, cool I mean awesome like but, and then whenever I started getting more and more into it I was like the, the fans funded this show like like they wanted it to come back with kickstarters and and it, it's such a it's such a fan-driven show that um, uh, that Hulu had to bring it back, basically. Absolutely. And it's so cool to be a part of, and and just meeting the cast and like Kristen and all all those yeah. people, and and I'm like, I get why it's such a cool show. And I, going back and watching some of the episodes, mm -hmm. I was like, this is an amazing show. <laughs> Everyone should watch it. <laughs> Go watch it. Uh, they're putting it on Hulu very soon, yes, so everybody yes. can go back and binge. Unlike yeah. me, I bought every single episode on iTunes just because I couldn't. You watched like everything yeah. like a few times, haven't you? Oh yes, hundred <laughs> percent. So I know you can't say much because a lot of things are very under wraps and secretive. But tell us what you can about your character. Um, I can't, I unfortunately can't say too much, but basically my character is uh, tied to um, my brother who's a congressman and just like you know the show is very investigative and a lot of things happen where stuff goes down and it's like they go and try to find out what, what happened and um, it's kind of one of those things where I'm just a part of that whole network network of, of things that happen so uh yeah it's it's a good show though i like i've read i've read until the the six episodes because we don't know what's happening until the next episode and the next episode and and um 
what's it called? So seven and eight, I have no idea what's happened. I mean, some people, some of my friends on set have told me kind of, but I was like, I don't even want to know. I'm just going to watch it and I'm going to find out for myself so it's not ruined for me. Yeah, absolutely. And so I know that the set probably was very tight. There was a lot of security. So was there like, were there fans waiting or were you guys extremely secretive and no one knew where you were? I think they tried to make it as secretive as, as possible because it, it is a very fan heavy show. So um, I didn't personally see many like fans waiting outside or anything like that because security is tight. Uh, but uh, they were really like strict about us being hush hush with what we post and what we say and all that stuff. So, um, in that sense, it was uh, it was heavily guarded and we can't really say anything. That's why I'm like, can I even say what my character? <laughs> I don't even know if I can say what. It, but it's on IMDb. Your character's yes. name is on IMDb. Yes, so, so that, I will say that that I could say. So my character's name I could say, but the rest. <laughs> yes. And what is your character's name though? It's on IMDb. You won't get in trouble. Alex. Okay. Yes. Alex. See, that Alex. was easy, right? Yeah. Tell me about the cast. Did you work a lot with Kristen herself? I actually, I, I had a, a various scenes with her, which was cool because, um, so I had met her before. Um, I, I did a, a, a dance thing. It's funny how the dance and acting, they just kind of go full circle because I had done this performance for uh, a Lin-Manuel and Dick Van Dyke uh, tribute show. And it was a very intimate situation. Like Jim Carrey and Kristen, they were all there performing and all this stuff. And so backstage, I had, after my performance, we were the opening show, I had met Kristen. And um, I, during, when we were on set, I'm like, hi, I think we've met each other. Like, I've met you. I'm like, she probably won't know who I am, you know? And so whenever I, 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 I approached her, she's, she recalled that performance and she said, oh my God, I love that performance. She's like, I was like emotional from that performance. And she's like, I recorded the whole thing. I'm like, no way. So we sat there and we watched it. And it was, it's, it's kind of funny how it went all full circle that uh, we kind of knew each other, but like we finally officially met on set. And I was a part of this show that she's been a part of for years, you know? So it was, it was, this, it, it was this cool little um, thing that, that connected my dancing and my acting together, which was, which was awesome. And she's so sweet and, and she, her, she takes her little girls to uh, dance class. So she's like, one day you'll, you'll teach my kids how to dance. And I'm like, for sure, let's do it. Oh, cute. <laughs> yeah. Everything really comes full circle. It does, it does. And you also have some other stuff going on. The Space Between is an independent film, right? Yeah. That's going to be coming out soon. Yeah. Kelsey Grammer mm -hmm. and Paris Jackson. Can you tell us a little bit about what I had, I had a small little little part in that um, and uh, it was a cool it was a cool set to be a part of it was very night like older like 90s 80s like that vibe and um, yeah I, I, that should be coming out soon I think they're still they're still shooting it and uh, in pre production uh, so yeah I'm excited for that as well awesome well I cannot wait for that but especially Veronica Mars yeah. uh, make sure all of you guys check out Veronica Mars it's going to be on Hulu July 26th I know I'll be watching mm -hmm. and thank you so so much Paul for coming well, in yes, it was yes, a pleasure yes. to meet nice you nice to meet you as well and make sure you check out his stuff online the dancing is amazing so please follow him and we'll see you next time